Uh, the installation is just as standard as a residential water heater you would get from your big box store. There's not a whole lot of difference. The only thing that is different that you do have a secondary valve here, which is your pass over for your cold water to temper into your hot water side. You do so also have the feature of installing a hot water return pump in the system with a built-in tap already in it in the front. And then on the other side, you have a secondary port also available for two different temperature settings. The main leaving, which you can set at your residential house application, and then on the secondary feature, you can do a high temp for a kitchen or another aspect that you'd be looking for. So really, it's 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 pretty much uh, a regular water heater type application with some upgrades, and uh, it looks. I think when we unboxed it, it took a couple of us to move that around. Is it? Uh, it looks pretty beefy. Can you t tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the tank's approximately 200 pounds. Uh, it's just due to the insulation factor of it, the quality of the tank, and how it's built. You know, for any homeowners or DIY people, very easy to install. Um, you know, you could like just install it just like you would any conventional water heater. It's very, very simple and straightforward. If you wanted to, could you pipe these like a couple of the larger ones together if you had a little bit higher capacity uh, needs for hot water? Oh, very easily. You would just have to do, uh, you could set them simultaneously and do equal piping on them, have one common outlet, and have twice the capacity of your water. Now, you could do natural gas as well. Uh, if you had an on demand uh, tankless gas water heater, uh, could you install this in front of the gas water heater to preheat uh, the hot water? Absolutely. All you would need to do is take the leaving side of the sun bandit tie it into the incoming cold water side of your instantaneous, and that would cut down on how much your instantaneous fired, if it fired at all during peak hours. Uh, I think the installation in your typical ranch home, um, you're probably approximately 12 to 16 hours, two men installing between the electrical portion and the plumbing portion. Of course, that's going to vary if it's a residential or if it's a commercial application, and we got multiple floors and uh, you know different situations, but just on a small, smaller application. Let, let's just use an example. Like if you've got a, a uh, you're a dental office, or you're a small medical office building, or a, a hair salon, or a, a, a grooming salon for your pets, where there is a, a need for hot water, you're probably talking a couple days to get this thing done, start to finish. At the absolute max, and it's all going to depend on accessibility to your attic, multi-story. Uh, ideally, new construction is going to be a faster application, but it can be installed anywhere. Okay. Uh, was there anything at all, uh, you know, that uh, struck you as you installed it and the, the quality of the tank? And you mentioned, uh, you know, the, some of the fittings and having uh, already uh, the availability to recirculate, put a recirculation pump on there if you needed to. That all comes standard, we assume? Everything, everything you see with this system here, minus the solar panels and the microinverter on the roof, comes complete with this system. Uh, both valves, the pass over, the module, uh, everything comes complete with this. There's nothing else that you need to buy secondary. Okay, so it looks like there's some access panels on the front there where they've got lower uh, uh, elements and then an element higher in the water heater. Um, so we set ours at 120. You could set that grid portion or the you know the power the grid power portion of that down as low as you wanted. I assume you could basically turn it off if you wanted to. Absolutely, and that's the application we have here. We're using the two PV elements right now. We are not using the single AC microgrid. This is the main AC power, and we do have the disconnect off to the AC side at this point. 